In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Paul is talking to the Corinthian church concerning communion. But toward the end of that teaching, Paul gives them kind of a, a sobering thought here. In chapter 11, verses 27 and 28 of 1 Corinthians, Paul says this. He says, Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in so doing, he is to eat the bread and drink of the cup. You know, I think sometimes we misunderstand these passage, this passage. I remember I was pastoring a small church, and I was, the way we did it, when they passed out the communion, I was up here on the stage, and I could see everybody, you know. And I noticed this one individual that was a member of my church, and had been there forever, and they didn't take communion that day. When the tray came by, they, they, passed, they passed it by. And I was, I was concerned about that, so I, I talked to them later, and I was asking them, and I said, well, what had happened here? And he said that he had examined himself, you know, and he said the week before, and he had found that he had done something wrong, and he didn't feel worthy to take the communion. And I thought, and then he quoted me this passage. He says, you know, it says to examine yourself and do not take it in an unworthy manner. Well, you know, and he used that as an explanation for his decision to not, you, to not partake in the communion that particular Sunday. I explained to him that the purpose of the examination was not to eliminate a person from sharing in the communion because if that were true, there would probably be a lot of us who would be skipping it on many Sundays. What the purpose of the examination is, is to give opportunity to recall unconfessed sin and then to lift that up to the Lord for cleansing. Mm -hmm. To prepare yourself for the partaking of the communion. Not to skip it, but to get ready for it, mm -hmm. to prepare for it. Amen? Yeah. Amen. This is all about reconciliation. It's not about elimination. Exactly. You know, <laughs> we got to get this right. And the, I think the key verse here is in 28 where it says, but a man must examine himself and in so doing. In other words, once we have examined ourselves. If there's something that we got from the last week that we haven't dealt with, that we have, you know, now's the time to do it. To examine ourselves, to confess those unconfessed sins to the Lord, to lift them up to Him, and then to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Amen. That's the order. Amen. Examine, confess, partake. Let's bow for a word of prayer. Father, we do thank you for your love. We thank you for the love through your Son, Jesus Christ. He gave his life on the cross that we might have eternal life with you. We thank you now for this reminder that we have. We remember his body through the bread and his blood through the cup. And we thank you for this time that we can come before you with a clear conscience, Lord, seeking your love using this to remind us of what Jesus has done for us and proclaiming that death until he comes. Father, do help us to examine ourselves and then to lift up anything we have and lay it at your feet and then to come before you with a clear conscience. Father, we thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name, amen.